Coventry United TV highlights are proudly sponsored by Coventry Motorcycles and Scooters, a family-run business providing an extensive range of new and used scooters plus 125cc motorcycles, also stocking a wide selection of helmets, protective clothing and accessories. For more information, contact Roy on 02476 440011, email Roy at coventrymotorcycles.co.uk or head on down to their new location at 288 Walsgrave Road, Coventry, CV2. 4BL. Well, the Butts Park Arena is home to yet another Total Motion Midland Football League Premier Division match. Tonight's game sees Coventry United versus South Normanton Athletic, a match that we only saw a few weeks ago. South Normanton fighting for their lives towards the bottom of the Premier Division standings. And they desperately need some points to further solidify their safety ambitions. United have not won in their last four matches. And following the ugly scenes at the Holman game on Saturday, now hoping to bring some beautiful football back to the free inspired city. The South Normanton are a team rejuvenated in recent weeks. They've been picking up points at a much faster rate and have vastly improved their chances of remaining a Premier Division side next season. The last team to beat them? Well, that would be Coventry United. Can Terry Anson's men repeat the feat tonight at the Butts Park Arena, live on Coventry United TV with Liam Cook. With the throw halfway into their own half on the right hand side, Carey lets it run, gets away from Tudguy, but runs straight into the number eight, Jamie Turner. Here's Tudguy now sprinting at the United back line. In goes Carey with the challenge, a former Sky Blue himself. And the best of crosses by Tommy Layton, and it's to the feet of Chris Cox. His clearance is only as far as the South Normanton man, and the ball by Tudguy. Is turned in. It was Nadine's ball, Tudguy stabbing it on. And South Normanton are in front. Goal coming from Kieran O'Connell. A fast start for the Shiners. Just two minutes after the first whistle, and the Red and Greens are already behind. You have to ask why O'Connell was allowed so much freedom in that penalty area. The corner from the right flank, an opportunity for South Normanton to double their advantage. We're about five minutes yet. But already United are in trouble with a header at the far post by Mark Sajewski. It's off the mark. And South Normanton's advantage remains at just the one for now. It will be Rob Prinzel to stick one towards that penalty area. Five minutes gone, United behind by one goal to nil. How long will it last? It's over the head of Leighton, and Beijing fires one. Well, whether it was a cross or a shot, it's not entirely successful as it goes all the way out of play for a throw on the right-hand side. Kennedy takes a touch in towards Frankie Beijing, that tries to bring it down, but it bounces away from the young winger and into the grateful grasp of Curtis Hall. Now United will sprint clear. Barlow down the left. Here's Frankie Bejnett. Takes on Leighton. He's got a couple of options in that penalty area. Bejnett continues his run. And it cannons off the leg of Kane Jennyman. And rolls towards Curtis Hall, who was there to pick it up. United's best attack of the game, but still not enough to test the man in the middle of that South Normanton goal. McQuanje didn't know what to do in that. Indecision brought on by that pressure. Gives South Norton the chance to push on again. Tyson. Can he go and get a second for South Normanton? Charged down by Ryan McQuanje. A handball claims, but it seems to have hit McQuanje in the chest. And it's into touch for the corner kick. A 
right back with King on the right. Pressure from behind by McQuaid. They seem to have the arm there of the South Norton to number seven. Trevsky calls for an option. Forward to Tudgate. Flicked onto O'Connell. And there's space for Tyson. It rolls over the head of Tyson. It's Tyson to double the advantage. And a good save down low by Tom Dyche. United wanted offside. They didn't get it. But the shots from Tyson wasn't all that the striker hoped it would be. But Deitch had to be on his toes to keep it out. Leighton lobs it towards the box. And not in by Strayevsky. Caught well the near post by Deitch. Wasn't letting that one go. King. In goes Kyle Carey, but King takes it around him and now takes on Ryan McWanje. He's got Tudgay on the left-hand side, but he'll find O'Connell instead, the scorer of the first and so far only goal. It's Kieran O'Connell, and offside as Marcus Tudgay rolls it into the net. The cross from the left-hand side by, I believe that was John King, who put it on a plate for the former Nottingham Forest and Derby striker. But the whistle had already blown and Tudgay's goal easy as it was, will not be counted. For South Normanton, number one, Curtis Hall, two, Tommy Layton, three, Dave Lee, four, Kane Jellyman, five, Mark Strayevsky, six, Ryan Nadine, seven, John King, eight, Jamie Turner, nine, Marcus Sudguy, ten, Jack Tyson, eleven, Kieran O'Connell, and on to the post, with Coventry United starting the second half in brilliant style. The ball cannoning off the woodwork an inch to the right, and it would have been a carbon copy of the start of the first half. The South Norms have taken the lead in just a second minute. The United players who are wearing the red and green shirt today are trying their best, but it is South Normanton in the lead. As the Sharks try and extend their advantage. Here's John King taking on the young left back Ryan McQuanje. It's still King, and the cross is towards O'Connell! Into the roof of the net! And Kieran O'Connell with a double at the Butts Park Arena, and that double could seal safety for the Shiners. A win tonight could take them nine points clear of Shawbury United. And you can't say that South Norton haven't deserved it. Surprising scoreline here on CUTV. Coventry United nil, South Normanton two. Bajnet puts Kennedy through. It's Liam Kennedy. It's Palmer, in fact, and he rolls it into the hands of Hall. You look like Kennedy from where I'm standing. I do apologise to Ryan Palmer. Get the through ball to the path of Palmer into the penalty area, rolls it into the vicinity of Curtis Hall. Corner from the right flank for South Normanton. Jellyman Raken running the penalty area, not towards the net by Marcus Sudguy and kept out by Deitch the near post. Kept alive by Jellyman. There's Sudguy charged down by Musa, and the referee gives a free kick against Sudguy as he sent Musa to the ground. Plenty of movement in that penalty area. In it goes, headed as far as McQuanje and a back heel by Brad Jones. Nearly caught out the visiting side, South Normanton, but it rolls harmlessly past Hall's goal. And it allows the Lord to go to play for a throw for Coventry United. Kennedy screaming for it on the right hand side. It's in towards Chris Cox. He's onside. Chris Cox into the net. Cracking goal. He chips it over the keeper. Exquisite finish. And United are back in business. It's Coventry United 1, South Normanton 2. Chris Cox, the captain, leading by example. And the ball straight into touch from the throw by Dave Lee. A poor throw it was. It could allow United another opportunity here. Here's Kennedy into the area. Liam Kennedy all the way towards Hall. And Stryevsky getting stuck in and giving the ball to Jennyman. Tudgate wins the header. Brought down by Turner. Lofted ball down the right-hand side. King is onside. This to seal it for South Normanton. Takes it around Deitch. And into the net. It bounces off the head of Brad Jones on the way through. But that's... 
is John King's goal. And it also seals a well-earned three points for South Normanton, which will take the Shiners nine points clear of Shawbury and surely end any relegation worries. Coventry United one, South Normanton Athletic three is the current score at the Butts Park Arena thanks to that goal from John King. Into that penalty area. Dodge loses it. It could be a chance for another one for South Norton but cleared just in time by Rob Prinzel, but it won't mean a whole lot as the final whistle blows and Coventry United lose out. Once again, that's five matches without a victory now for the Red and Greens. A double from O'Connell and a late strike from King and a big three points for South Norton who are surely safe now in the Total Motion Midland Football League Premier Division. The final score here at the Butts Park Arena, Coventry United 1, South Normanton Athletic 3.